In 2021, Montana's Open Cup Mining Act was revised, quote, providing less stringent applications for certain open cut operations, end quote, with the enactment of House Bill 599. In reality, the revisions rush permits through the Department of Environmental Quality. Mining companies can declare excavation will not affect ground or surface water with no verification required. At the southern end of the crown of the continent ecosystem, an open-cut gravel mine and asphalt plant were permitted less than half a mile from the Clearwater River. The mine site is bordered by the Blackfoot Clearwater Wildlife Management Area and a wildlife migration corridor for elk, deer, and grizzly bears. Mining operations were paused by a temporary restraining order when Protect the Clearwater asked the 4th District Court in Missoula and the Board of Environmental Review to more thoroughly evaluate the short and long-term impacts of an industrial operation at this site. Protect the Clearwater was formed in May of uh, 2023, last year, a little more than 11 months ago. We um, were concerned about the gravel mine that was permitted so close to the river, as well as threats to public health, wildlife, and the lack of due diligence in the permitting process. It's uh, currently per permitted for um, 17 years, and the uh, uh, permit basically is unconditioned. It, it, they can operate 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Uh, there was no conditions on hours of operation. Um, they didn't you know, I didn't see a stormwater plan, which is typical of big industrial operations. This dry land category that's being used in this permitting project is the ultimate, essentially, categorical exclusion for this type of mine. A categorical exclusion is a category of actions that a federal agency has determined do not significantly affect the environment. And so here, Really, the only question that was at issue is, is there any hydrologic connection between this mine and nearby ground and surface water? And the state did almost nothing to reach that determination. The Department of Environmental Quality accepted the mining company's certification that ground and surface water would not be affected based on three 14-foot test holes dug in January 2023. The mine is permitted for a 20-foot deep excavation pit. They have given the Montana Department of Environmental Quality only a few days to process these permits. And so what we're seeing, and, and I have deposed many of the DEQ employees now, and what they've told me is that they simply, we don't have time or resources to do something like a hydrologic analysis. FWP's own groundbreaking science on grizzly bear connectivity movement, this exact location is where wildlife are crossing Highway 83. Something like a mine is usually a permanent development, and it permanently removes the vegetative cover and the security habitat in the area of the mine, and so it's never going to be available for bears anymore. And so it takes away from secure habitat and productive habitat for bears. Protect the Clearwater and the community that supports it has done immense work, but it needs your help. My husband's in construction. We are so supportive of the workforce and what we need to do to build roads and have progress in Montana, but not at the expense of landowners and the forest and the rivers that will attract people here forever. To date, we um, have raised $100,000. We still need another, we estimate $52,000 to finish the job. I feel really optimistic. I feel like we've done so much work in less than a year. I believe that people are starting to be aware um, and understanding that for us it's um, really about doing the right thing, um, trying to hold the agencies accountable for their actions that impact all of us. It's in every corner of Montana and it's going to continue to occur until we can make some changes here. And so, you know, I, I thank Protect the Clearwater for making this issue known. Um, and I encourage all of you that are concerned to think about what this would be if there was an asphalt production plant next to your children and next to your groundwater well, um, and what that would be like for you and the rest of, of your life. To support Protect the Clearwater, you can donate on our website, protecttheclearwatermt.org.
www.ghostdoctor.org.